हेलो नमस्ते एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज मंशा आई एम अ टैरो कार्ड रीडर न्यूमरोलॉजिस्ट वास्तु कंसल्टेंट एंड क्रिस्टल हीलर इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरीज रिगार्डिंग एनी ऑफ दीज यू कैन जस्ट डीएम मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम और यू कैन गेट इन टच विद मी ऑन द नंबर प्रोवाइडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बिलो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ इज सेप्टेम्बर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू गोइंग टू बी फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू आई एम गोइंग टू डू दिस रीडिंग विद अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ अ डिफरेंट वे दिस टाइम इट इज गोइंग टू बी अ पिक अ कार्ड रीडिंग पिक अ पाइल रीडिंग बेसिकली यू विल हैव टू पिक अ पाइल फॉर योर सेल्फ एंड दैट रीडिंग विल बी फॉर यू आई एम गोइंग टू प्रिडिक्ट हाउ इज दिस मंथ गोइंग टू बी इन ऑल द एस्पेक्ट्स टेकिंग इन कंसिडरेशन करियर रिलेशनशिप्स मैरिज फाइनेंसेज ट्रेवल एंड इफ देर इज एनी चांस ऑफ प्रमोशन चाइल्ड बर्थ और यू विल बी सेटलिंग अब्रॉड और नॉट सो विदाउट डूइंग फर्दर अ डू लेट्स गेट इन टू द वीडियो This video is not just going to be a reading for you for the next month. I am going to suggest you a few remedies also to make your next month better. So if you want to attract better opportunities, if you want to excel in your career, if you want to attract the right person for you, I would suggest you to wait till the end. I am going to suggest a few remedies to you in the end. So just to brief you how this reading is going to work, all you have to do is you just have to select one pile for yourself from the three piles. that you can see and you have to just close your eyes take a deep breath and understand whichever pile resonates with you or whichever pile connects with you that reading is going to be for you so if you want to know which pile connects with you you just have to close your eyes and take a deep breath and that pile is going to tell you how is your september 2022 going to be so without doing further ado let's get into the video so talking about the three piles these are the three piles that you have to choose from this is the first pile this is the second pile and this is the third pile you have to choose one pile and that reading is going to be for you that is how your september 2022 going to be i am going to give you 5 seconds to close your eyes take a deep breath and choose whichever pile resonates with you Okay I hope you have chosen your pile now moving forward coming to the first pile that is here for you Okay so this is what the pile 1 looks like basically the cards are trying to say it's the month of companionship it's the month of taking chances it is going to be the month of making beautiful changes exploring your creative side keeping all of your ego keeping all of your pride keeping all of the things that you regret keeping all of the things that you are upset about aside and moving forward this month is going to be full of growth full of possibilities if you are thinking of exploring your creative side if you are thinking of changing your careers if you are thinking of making the move i would suggest you to do that there is a very very high chance that you will be able to find helpful people caring people around you and those people are going to help you out and they are going to help you in changing your career or maybe making some changes to attract better opportunities growth as well as financial abundance so if you are thinking of changing certain things and moving forward it is going to be a great month just don't hold on to things from the past if you keep on holding on things from the past things are going to be a little bit rough for you it is going to bring back all the emotional traumas and that would ruin your career or that will bring blockages in your career so it's better to take the help of your friends taking charge of the situations exploring the creative side and moving forward basically the angels guidance is also saying that you are going to find helpful people angels are also trying to say that it's better to take the help from people and don't let the pride get in your way if you will let your pride get in the way it might make situations a little bit up and down and you will not be able to move on from the things it's better to let people help you it's better to let people come into your life and take you out from the things that are being a uh, a little bit problematic or emotional for you so this is what the pile one reading looks like if you can resonate with it please do comment below and tell me how do you like it 
coming to the pile number two this is what the pile number two looks like we have got six of swords in reverse five of pentacles in reverse and the empress in straight and the angel's guidance is basically saying don't stop and the monology deck is giving you the guidance that conclusions are within reach so basically the angels and the moon cycle and the things in the universe are trying to say that don't stop things are going to work out for you you are not supposed to stop at this moment even though things are not working out for you it might take another uh, 10 to 15 days for things to get better in your life in your career financially also it is not going to be that great for another 10 days but after that things are going to come back to normal so within the next three weeks or so, you're going to experience beautiful changes, the kind of growth that you have been expecting, the kind of changes, the kind of opportunities that you have been expecting. I think you're going to get that within the next three weeks or so. And that is going to bring a lot of changes in your career. So basically, whatever you have reaped, you're going to sow within the next three weeks. First half of this month is going to be a little bit problematic financially as well as emotionally. Things are going to end in your life and things are going to change in your life these days. And within the next 15 days or so, you are going to be very emotional. You are going to regret a lot of things. You might have to go back to certain things, either the old job or the old business or old people that were in your life and that were a little bit of a problem for you. Those people can also come back into your life and might try to change certain things. It's better to acknowledge that. It's better to talk to them and give them the closure, give yourself the closure that you need. If it is what your mental health needs, I would suggest you to do that. So basically, just don't stop. Keep on moving forward. Even though obstacles come, even though opportunities come, you have to still move forward and accept the better opportunities, better things that are coming for you. So as the angels say, don't stop. And your conclusions are within reach. So whatever you have reaped, you are going to sow very soon. All the very best okay so this is what the pile number three looks like pile number three is basically saying that you need to move forward you need to stop looking at other people you need to stop waiting now you need to stop uh, thinking about the situation just planning and plotting and you need to make the move you have been regretting a lot of things you have been thinking a lot of things from the past but that is not going to give you any kind of benefit in any way you're not going to get the closure by sitting in the bed and not making any kind of move. Things have been very much emotionally up and down for you from last four to five months, but it totally depends upon you how you are going to make the rest of the year for you. This month is going to be productive only if you come out of your comfort zone, come out of the emotional side of yours and become a little bit practical. Because since now you have been just thinking what other people are doing and not putting that much of efforts you are holding on to a lot of things you are just planning and plotting you have not been making any kind of move next few weeks are going to be a little bit emotional for you you might even fall down you might even collapse you might even become very much emotional you might also regret a few decisions but it is going to be worth it because after this a fiery climax is going to approach a fiery climax will approach and you will be able to move forward you will be able to get rid of all of the trauma You're going to just burst out and you will move forward whatever you have been planning i don't think so it is going to turn out the way you want it to but i guess you are going to get the closure the situations are not going to be likely the way you want them to be the unlikely situations are going to approach this month so you will have to be a little bit careful in handling all of the things that are coming for you in this month. Don't be very much emotional. Don't run back to the past. Don't just think of going back to that relationship again. Try to move forward. Stop making the move just to go back to the past, go back to the old job or go back to the old situation. Try to move forward. Thinking about the past, going back to the emotional phase won't help you in any way. So it's better to move forward. A fiery climax is going to approach, but it is going to take some time. So you will have to be a little bit careful and the kind of situations that you're expecting are not going to happen this month. 
So all the very best and move forward with a happy face. If you have made it this far, thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please like, share, comment your favorite part or if you could resonate with any of the reading, share it with your friends and subscribe to the YouTube channel. As promised, remedies are mentioned in the description box below. So please don't forget to like the video just for the energy exchange and do share with your friends. Thank you so much.